Hi, this is our Q&A for uh, What's in Your Lunch and so we asked our friends to um, offer some questions about uh, vegetarianism and the stereotypes behind it so we're just going to answer a few of them today Okay, question one Do you get offended when people eat meat in front of you? Uh, so I think that's that really depends on the person, but most vegetarians really don't mind it. Mm -hmm. We know that this isn't um, something that we should force and put pressure on, so uh, we try to be really cautious not to like make that uncomfortable atmosphere. So yeah, we just try our best to make the other person really comfortable about it and um, yeah, be accepting of them as well. So for question two, we have, are there days or situations where you can make exceptions and eat meat? Mm. Yeah, that's a really good question. And that's something that we get asked a lot. Um, and again, I think the answer is that it just really depends on the person. Because vegetarianism is a really, it's a really personal choice. It's a personal lifestyle. So I know that there are a lot of things on the internet dividing the different types of vegetarianism and saying like, oh, flexitarians can eat this and this and vegans can eat this and this, pescotarians can eat this and this. But the truth is that those are only very generic guidelines and each person can tailor their own style of vegetarianism however they want. So for example, one of my friends just um he's a really strict vegetarian most of the time but he eats meat when he's at weddings or like parties or when he's eating out with a really large group and another vegan who i know um she's a really strict vegan but she eats kimchi even though that's been made with fish sauce just because it's really hard to live in korea i guess and mm -hmm. not eat kimchi and the point of vegetarianism is that you want a better life for yourself and for others i guess depending on why you do it and you don't want to make yourself miserable in the course of doing it so yeah so our next question is do you sometimes get the desire of eating meat and how do you endure it yeah so um this question per really hits home personally because i used to love meat like I've loved meat all my life and I never thought I could go vegetarian because I love meat so much but I don't know surprisingly once I went vegetarian I didn't mi miss meat as much and my eating experience wasn't hasn't been any less just because I'm not eating meat like being vegetarian has allowed me to explore a lot of really different food options and I'm really loving it and that was really irrelevant. I don't know why I said it. I'll just call it later. <laughs> um, yeah, sometimes I do get cravings for my ex favorite meat dishes. For example, like bulgogi or galbi. Cause, oh, my grandma used to make really good galbi. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I don't know. It's kind of strange because my brain thinks that I miss it. But when I think about actually eating it, I'm not really tempted at all. So I guess that's kind of strange. And I know that's different for everyone. Because for example, mm -hmm. I know that- yeah, yeah, for me, I didn't really like meat from the beginning, like when I was young. So it was only natural for me to like transition into vegetarianism. So yeah, I think for me, I was lucky. It was really, really easy transition. But yeah, I can definitely relate to people who originally loved meat like you've been here yeah 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 but i think yeah for me i guess the reasons why i went vegetarian are a lot bigger than my ex love for meat that my brain doesn't that temptation doesn't really overcome the reasons why i went vegetarian yeah okay so question four how do you make sure you eat all the necessary nutrients Okay, so a lot of people think that vegetarians um, don't get enough protein and other um, minerals like iron. And yeah, of course there are supplements, but uh, we actually have a lot of different alternatives for um, our supply of protein. For example, we eat a lot of bean-based foods and 
um, nuts and uh, depending on what type of vegetarian you are you're also you can also eat fish eggs and milk so there's actually a lot of options for us believe it or not and yeah I don't think it really uh, like causes harm to our health so far so that's yeah <laughs> and also this is one thing I found out after a semester into HL bio but the <laughs> so plant-based protein and animal-based protein is essentially the same thing because they're all made up of the same amino acids except that they call animal protein complete protein because it has all the amino acids that we need and a lot of plant-based proteins lack one or two of them but um that just means that vegetarians keep in mind to kind of eat those amino acids that they're lacking for example soybeans have do have all the amino acids that you would miss if you don't eat red meat so yeah it's actually really pretty easy to make sure your body's getting all you need so our next question is uh, what are your go-to meals when you're eating out yeah, so I think it depends on the cuisine that we're um, eating. For example, Italian is one of my favorite because there are a lot of options that honestly most Italian restaurants have that are really vegetarian friendly. For example, like just simple pomodoro pasta, which just has tomato and pasta or like the the pesto based ones yeah. or the oil yeah, the pastas oil with pastas. the alio olio mm -hmm. yeah i don't know how to pronounce it anymore <laughs> yeah and the pizzas like gorgonzola or margarita mm -hmm. so that's good um when i'm eating japanese i'll usually opt for the like the tempura don where it's rice and then different kinds of vegetable oh. tempura rice yeah that's a really good option and when you're eating korean i guess it really depends on the type of yeah. restaurant. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So like for example, bibim bibimbap. Mm -hmm. Usually there's beef in it, but I mean, it's easy to take out. So. Yeah. Yeah. And it, um, a lot of people think that vegetarians only eat salad and that we love salad. Oh. But like, <laughs> that's really not the case. Like, personally, I do enjoy salad, but I wouldn't eat it like for every day, for example. Like, but she's a weird one because she eats salad without tea. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we don't really feel pressured to eat salad all day long. Because <laughs> we have a lot of other options. What do you mean we don't feel pressured? <laughs> I just don't eat okay, okay, salad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, My well, diet is mostly know, like, carbs. It's rice, pasta, noodles. Oh, that's true. I don't know. When I started vegetarian, I just felt that I have to eat a lot of salad and you know, that's like my main dish from now on. I don't know. I just felt that way. <laughs> but now I don't. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> so, the next question. When you tell people you're vegan slash vegetarian, what are the most common reactions? Hmm. Oh. Okay, so we get a lot of <gasps> wide-eyed reallys and wows and mm. oh my gosh. And yeah, that's like the most common one. But we also get like those kind of like kind of guilty kind of feeling yeah. bad and like nuances in their reactions because mainly um we generally um kind of open up that we're vegetarian during our meal times lunch or dinner i don't know but um yeah and they're obviously going to eat a dish with meat in it and we just tell them and i don't know they just have this nuance in their like voice feeling bad and guilty i don't know it's a little bit awkward but we all get over it <laughs> yeah <laughs> um next question is what's it like being vegetarian in different countries all right so um when i lived in shanghai i didn't i don't know actually i'd never i didn't even think about like vegetarianism was something like in a that only kind of really strict like uptight you know people did when i was in shanghai and when i was in middle school so i don't really remember like remembering the vegetarian options there but when i lived in australia um i wasn't vegetarian then but there's a really big vegetarian community 
there and then also a lot of people who don't identify as vegetarian would just opt for plant-based meals because pretty much in every restaurant you usually see vegetarian slash vegan options so i think that's really good and also i feel like western with western food it's really easy to separate the plant-based stuff and the mm. meat stuff i don't know yeah. yeah whereas in korea it could be harder at times because yeah. there's like fish sauce or chicken broth that's stuff that's not as obvious but that you have to be thinking about yeah how this was made yeah and i think it's kind of related to the culture because i also lived in shanghai and um you did yeah, yeah i did <laughs> <laughs> so in like asian countries like we generally have like a culture where meat is something that's really prosperous and mm. it's like a really lucky kind of food mm. so i think that tradition um kind of got passed over and yeah there's uh meat in almost every korean traditional dish and um yeah i think uh it's a little bit difficult for vegetarians to thrive in korea but the good thing is that um uh, our community our vegetarian community is definitely expanding and yeah, we're getting a lot of new options when we're eating out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, what I liked about Korean food as a vegetarian is that a lot of dishes that people don't really think about are actually vegetarian. Yeah. So if you if you're just conscious of what you're eating, it's actually really, really easy to eat vegetarian. Yeah. Question eight. Did you feel any positive impact on your body after going vegetarian? Um, so I personally did feel like my health has improved a lot um, ever since I you know, transitioned. And I don't know, but I really think that depends on the person because for example, my mom, she began um, the vegetarian journey with me, but she quit midway because um, I don't know, she felt really uh, like kind of ill and kind of her body felt worse apparently so she visited the doctor and they said that uh the vegetarian diet isn't really fitting for her body mm -hmm. so yeah i think it depends on how your body reacts to your um, new diet and yeah i think you should really pay attention to your body when you're first beginning yeah so our next question is what's one thing that you wish you know before you mm -hmm. started this journey yeah um as i said before i was a huge meat lover so i never imagined that i would go vegetarian even though um like i was conscious of the environmental impacts and the animal welfare issues i just didn't think it was something that i could deal with because i liked meat so much and i thought about vegetarianism as this you know huge life changing <laughs> thing that would make up a huge part of my identity and that it was kind of a river that once you cross it you just can't come yeah. back <laughs> yeah <laughs> and i think that's a really common conception about vegetarianism among people who aren't vegetarian but i don't know that's just not true because i mean it's really <laughs> flexible it's yeah. more flexible than you think it's like yeah because yeah it's a really personal choice um unless you're doing it for health reasons in that case i think it's a whole different issue but i think most vegetarians um choose to be vegetarian for really different reasons and because of that and it's a lifestyle and it could be a choice of personal well-being it could be a choice for others well-being but you know you can tailor it depending on what suits you and your lifestyle and your values. <laughs> no one's really watching over you if you like stick to the rules or something. So yeah, it's like, just don't really, don't feel pressured to like, you know, accidentally eat a few, you know, few bits of meat or something. Yeah. If I eat accidentally, if I'm eating out and if I accidentally eat something that was touching me, like i'd feel fine i wouldn't feel bad because i'm vegetarian because i want to reduce i want to consume as little meat as possible mm -hmm. but you know like i personally think it's more important for lots of people to try to reduce their meat intake in 
any way in however amount possible than a handful of people being strictly vegan so yeah, yeah. like i really like being vegetarian yeah me too i mean if you really want to be like strict vegan and like you want to do everything right i mean there's no problem in that at all it's just that when you're first transitioning to be vegetarianism it's a little bit difficult so yeah baby steps basically right yeah <laughs> and yeah and there's no one thing fits all solution mm -hmm. or vegetarian i think diet mm -hmm. you know it's just whatever works for you and i think that's the most important thing so our next question is if you have kids in the future would you make them vegan or vegetarian okay um do you want to go first Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, I mean, like I said, vegetarianism is a really personal choice, so I'd never force it on any of my family members. Yeah, I think it's just as simple as mm -hmm. that. Yeah, I mean, I would, I would really like it if my kids turn out vegetarian, but, um, yeah, it's definitely their choice, and, uh, even though I kind of make more vegetarian dishes in the daily lifestyle i mean yeah if they want to eat meat they can eat meat yeah. okay so that's it for our video and um i hope we kind of cleared out some of the common questions behind our diet and uh okay so um just a disclaimer this video was about our personal experiences and i don't think it's possible for anyone to represent the vegetarian community because i don't think there's a vegetarian community because mm -hmm. vegetarianism is so different for everyone depending on who you are why you're doing it how you're doing it so yeah this is just based on our thoughts and experiences i hope that was helpful yeah <laughs> yeah okay thank you yeah thanks for watching guys Go tell them about this like, oh, Q and A. Oh, that oh, wait, one, two, three. Our first question is: oh, Do you wait. get? From the door, what the hell is that? Okay, you say you're gonna say so first question, right? Okay, then start over. One, two, three. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> no, just just start over again. Go, go, go. <laughs> I laughed. I laughed. <laughs> 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 <laughs>